Got to work this morning and decided to uh, take a trip. And I'm going to put in three days off work. Sunday afternoon, got done with work, done the work for the week. Uh, freshly divorced, single, so uh, I'm going to take a trip. I took three days off, paid. I'm going to leave. It's about, you know. 307 and uh, go west. Uh, hopefully, I'll make it to. I think it's Springfield, Missouri by this evening. Uh, get a hotel and go further west uh, down the interstate. It's diagonal towards Oklahoma City and. Oklahoma City south to Dallas, Texas, and come back across through Arkansas, Little Rock, up around Memphis, and back up down Mayfield where the tornado went through, and uh, come back home. So, I hope to do it in three days. So, it's going to be like more of a road trip, stopping, spending, you know, doing quite a bit of stuff. It's going to be more of a driving trip. But, I'm going to do some drone footage, and, uh, Hopefully have a big time, gonna be by myself. I'll be calling back home, you know, mom and Nicholas, dad, letting them know how I'm doing and everything. First time I've ever been that far away from home by myself. I'll be able to see where the Alfred Murrow building blew up, the Oklahoma City bombing. And hopefully uh, have a good time, so here we go. Well, I'm off and running. I am in my first night, first hotel room. Uh, get up in the morning and uh, carry on. I got to thinking it's only it's only about seven o'clock. I was gonna drive all the way through, but I stopped in Sykeston, so home of the Lamberts, the throwed rolls. But uh, I was gonna drive all the way to but to Springfield. But I got to thinking driving through the night the way I was. I, I can't see nothing, so I might as well just go to bed early and get up in the morning and, you know, six o'clock and maybe even five, and I'll be able to see something, you know? It's just better to be awake when it's daylight, basically. I'm gonna take a good hot shower and take it easy for the rest of the night. See you in the morning.
I'm gonna get Beth something for her Valentine's Day present. Uh, she asked for a ski mask. She rides her folder a lot around, and uh, she wants to keep her face warm. Big shout out to her. She's in school right now. Monday morning, 10 a.m. You're out there, Bethany. I love you. Springfield right now. Eat lunch. And then I'm gonna roll to the Bass Pro Shop. Pick up Bethany a face mask. And I'm gonna head towards Oklahoma. It's about halfway between the bullet marks on the pick pick, so I'm gonna go with that for a while. Might have to put oil in it later. That's fine. Stop clicking. I'm in Springfield right now. So, on to the Bass Pro Shop. There it is. with nature one receives more than he seeks John Moore Crap, it is the world's biggest fork. <laughs> Dang. Oh, it's hollow. But, I definitely gotta get a shot of this. It's on this building. I don't know if what kind of building. I don't know if it's part of a school or a dorm or I think it's an apartment complex. But it's in a nicer part of town. But it's a big fork. You know, I'd like to travel around in this town a little bit, but it's 
nice town. But, uh, it's not the end go. So, uh, onward towards Oklahoma, I guess. Very strange neighborhood here. I don't know if these brick buildings, they don't seem like they're new. It seems like they're, I don't know. Just seems like it's, I don't know. Somebody rebuilt the old bricks or something. But, back on the highway. Another long run, 285 miles to Oklahoma City. Four hours. It's gonna be a long ride. It's a uh, 70 mile an hour speed limit. See, there's tolls on this highway. I got a little bit of change. I don't know how much the tolls are gonna be. But I guess I'll see you on down the road. That power plant reminds me of the uh, reason I'm doing a drone shot on it. Reminds me of uh, the album cover of the Pink Floyd, the you know, Animals, Pigs on a Wing. It sure looks like it. This is an interesting little oddity. This is the geographic corner of Kansas, Oklahoma, and the edge of Missouri. Kind of interesting. Missouri state line's that way. Kansas is over there. And Oklahoma's over here. And the state line of Oklahoma and Kansas goes that way. Kind of interesting. I guess this might be either this or... state corner established 1857 by 800 member expedition starting at the southwest corner of Missouri and working north the party included soldiers teamsters cooks astronomers and surveyors the expedition took nearly six months being hampered by rough terrain heavy timber and high water the stone marker was built by the National Youth Administration 1938 which I guess is that thing The original plaques read Missouri 1821 on east, Oklahoma 1907 on south, Kansas 1861 on north, and on the west side a description of why and how the point was established. Very interesting. It's out here on, in the woods too. It's on the end of this gravel road right off the highway. Right at the edge of somebody's farm. Weird. Nice 
1938 when this thing was built. Well, anyway, I, I don't know. I might go ahead and fly my drone. Be interesting coming in. So here it is. First time I ever seen a stoplight, just one. One on the pole over there. But it's a typical little Greenville, typical little Massonville, but it's a little flat.
loves around here. Good grief. I bet I passed, coming from my Oklahoma State line, I bet I passed 10 of them. Huge resorts. They're everywhere. But, I guess I'm gonna turn around and go back. So, trucking on westward. Dang, check out that car. Parked here to stop, stop at a stoplight. Looked over and there it is. What's that, like a, it's a fair lane. Dang. Headed back south. In 800 feet, turn right onto Circle Drive Northwest. Right down to the 66 route. Take that way us for a little bit. Maybe I'll see something kind of cool on that route. Turn right onto Circle Drive Northwest, then turn There's left onto A Street 66. Northwest. Turn left onto A Street Northwest. South South 69. Side of their territory, the reserve, or something like that. Very strange how that works. It's like they own half of the Miami, Oklahoma, or something. Wonder if there's any taxes, state taxes inside of there. This is Oklahoma. The marker here on the side of the road. Oklahoma 66, historic route 66. That's uh, Ribbon Road Sideway Highway. Completed 1922 is Federal Highway running 1542. The only remaining nine foot section of original pavement on the old Route 66 system taken out of service 1937. Talking about this right here? And yes, they are. It's a long gravel road. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Guess we're moving on. Look like 
like Dorothy live, live in. Because we ain't Kansas no more. <laughs> This. You don't need this, dude. Yeah, let's make it. That's where I got out. Huh? We've gone on and after. Yeah. We're going to make it 325 out of your 20. Yeah. All right. I don't know nothing about toes. I'm not from nowhere near here. I understand. <laughs> we got. It's going to be your 4, 5, 10, and 10 makes you 20. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. flight uh, kind of hanging out in one of them parking lots that you pay there's a sign up here as you can see you probably can't see it but it says park mobile it's an app you download I'd pay two bucks for an hour it's uh, 7 o'clock 742 so I want to go down to the you know where the Oklahoma City bombing was but it's a national memorial now kind of hanging out getting a, you know they don't they don't even open it up till nine o'clock it's definitely oklahoma city's definitely not as big as i thought it would be there's only as you've seen in the video four or five skyscrapers i figured it'd be a huge city but it's not 
I'd say the dirt, maybe. It's got a lot of sand in it. We're about to go into the high plain, so maybe they don't feel feel it's safe to build a lot of skyscrapers on top of it or so. That might have something to do with it. But as you can see, you know, it's not much there. It's a typical little, you know, city. They got these botanical gardens. They got them little, as you can see right over there, there's little scooters that you can rent and ride around, but it's just too cold. It's 45 degrees the 15th of February. It's just too cold to be out riding around on a scooter. But I guess I'll ride around to town and see what I can see. So, peace. Walking the streets of Oklahoma, right where the Murrah building used to be. Fence, filing rescue and recovery and removal of the bombshell of the Alpha Murrah building in 95. A large chain link fence was installed to protect the site between May 95 and April 2000 before the symbolic memorial grounds opened to the public. Tens of thousands came to see for themselves this place of unspeakable loss. Man. I probably won't fly my drone here. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't guess there's any reason to. About two inches of water on top of that. It's neat. It's going right to the edge and falling in a crack. Oklahoma City National Memorial Museum. Huh. 
I guess this is where the building was standing. I guess. That, that little barrel says 901. I have to look up exactly what that means. That one down there says 903 on it, side of that wall. Yeah, I would say that's like the original bottom of the building. April 19th, 1995 encompasses the now sacred soil from the Murrah building once stood. Okay, yeah. Huh. building once stood. The granite used on this pathway was salvaged from the Murrah building. The field of empty chairs is a tribute to the 168 Americans who were killed. The nine rows represent the nine floors of the former Murrah building. Each person's chair is positioned in the row that corresponds to the floor for which they worked or were visiting. The five westernmost empty chairs honor those who were killed outside the Murrah building. Hmm. Strange grass. Man, one hundred sixty eight people. Uh oh, little ones. That would be the little kids. Oh man.
Leo. Hmm. I guess I'm going to get back on the highway. I could stay and go through the museum, I guess, but there's so much more to see. So That's what I'll do. There's a car down there. Cost me two bucks to park for an hour. I don't know. I just feel like I shouldn't be flying over this. It's clear, you know. Ain't no safety zone. It's legal to fly here, but nah. I'm not sure he might not like it or something. I just seen a guy walking around, you know. The thing over there, the bouquet of roses. They might not like it. People has people die here or something. But Anyways. Outside Oklahoma City, about 30, 40 miles. Finally starting to see the planes. Right over there in the distance, you can see the, the gigantic windmills. There's probably a hundred of them over there. You probably can't see it on the screen, but they're over there, barely see them. But, starting to flatten off pretty good. I'm really having to hold the steering wheel of the left. The wind's really whipping across the road. I've seen several trucks. They're tipping to one side. It's They're just leaning a little bit. That wind's blowing really hard. Hope to get to the state line. I'm headed to the Cadillac Ranch. It's along the interstate. I've seen it on YouTube quite a bit. I want to see that. Just on the other side of Amarillo, Texas. So it's uh, 232 miles to get there. Oh, look at there. That stack burning that, that fire out there on top of it.
But anyways, slowly getting up to the high plains. Seems like I'm going up. We'll see how it goes. They're out on private property, hard to get to. Didn't quite make it out there. Golly. Grab a lot of rope going forever. Still in Oklahoma. Got about 100 miles to the border. Texas. This is the first cattle guard I've seen that across. No trespassing sign right there, so I ain't gonna go any further than this. But it is way too windy for a drone. But it's kind of neat. Cattle out here, look at him. He's over looking right at me. Nah. <laughs> looking at me. They're looking at me. Banging her tail. Wondering what in the world. But there's a huge tower over there. But just still 100 miles outside of uh, Texas. Next stop will probably be the Texas State sign. So adios. This one's called the Madam Queen. Retired from service November 53, 1953. Given to Amarillo. Huh.
it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten cadillacs buried in the ground i've seen it on youtube i don't know how many times amount of paint holy smokes holy crap this paint look at it it was dripping off of it holy crap so far
my last stop for turning back. So, fixing the, oh man, fixing the head south. I don't know, north or south. I don't know which way I'm going. station they got a free car show type of deal museums what they call it car museum look at this Buick Grand National Jet black. Man, that's a pretty car. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, here I am in my little old place here. Hey, lady. If you don't mind, how about closing the door? Sometimes a man's got to do what a man's got to do. All right. Yeah, okay. And just as soon as I get through me. Well, at the last minute, I decided to make plan change. North to Kansas instead of going south back down through Texas and uh, Dallas and uh, we'll call it Arkansas. I decided to go north into Kansas and go back that way. So we'll see where the road takes me. Driving across a two-lane highway in the plains right now. There ain't nothing out here but tumbleweeds, sagebrush, and a power line. <laughs> but hoping to make it to town a couple of two or three hundred miles away in uh, Kansas, Liberal Kansas, That's the name of the town, so we'll see how it goes, I'll still be in the plains for a while, but uh, I'll go back up, go through Texas again, I think I'll go through the panhandle of Oklahoma and then cross over into Kansas. So, as you can see, it's still, still out here, arid, windy. I can't even make a video outside this car for the wind blowing across the microphone. But, uh, we'll see what happens to do. I wanted to come to a four-way stop in the middle of nowhere. Going in four different directions. Stand in the middle of it. Is up right there. The windmills along those ridges. Kind of interesting. Never seen anything like this. This is pretty cool. There's a railroad out in the middle of nowhere. 
I'm gonna talk directly in the mic so you can hear me. But it's out in the middle of nowhere going over this river. It's a huge bridge. It's kind of neat. I don't know. I really think I ought to get my drone out. But see what I can film. I guess what I'm gonna do. Traveling to the three points of uh, Kansas, Colorado, and Oklahoma. Man, I had to go down the back road to get there. This is a county road in Oklahoma. I'm kind of nervous about getting off the back blacktop in a little car, but. I gotta do what I gotta do as long as I take it slow. I think they're setting up 
telephone poles. So I decided to stop. They need water to their sprinklers for the crops. I hear it humming. It's like a 350 Chevy engine. I guess it feeds natural gas out of the ground. Biggest thing I ever seen. But anyways, moving on. I'm almost to the three points, so see what we can get into traveling. Traveling this gravel road out in the middle of nowhere. There ain't nobody for miles out here. All the way around. It is quiet out here like when it snows at home. But I'm gonna get out of here before somebody shows up. Says, what are you doing? Anyways. Man. It's literally, literally a puck in the ground. On that side of the road, Colorado there, and Kansas there. <laughs> it's pretty crazy.
my camera. Rolling out of a pickup, I think. Somewhere on Valley, CSX. Interested enough. Sure. There it is. The monster I've been looking for. It's the first huge one I've seen. It's right off the road. I ain't gonna stay long. I don't know how he, I don't know if he's supposed to be out here around these things or not, but that thing's a behemoth. It's huge. It's whirring away. Pretty cool. But I wanted to see at least one or two of these things while I was out here. City. Seeing what I can see. A gigantic bull. Smoke Street. That's pretty funny. cowboy hat I've seen out here anywhere since I left home. Where are all the cowboys at? Santa Fe Trail. High plain short grass. trail supposed to be visible by the ruts and the dirt Santa Fe trail remains and has been designated a registered national historical landmark 1966 I guess that's what they mean by
the roots. And the grass, and both the roots in the ground, you see the root. Nothing out here, it's quiet. <laughs> this phone definitely does not have the smoothness that a GoPro does. It bounces quite a bit. You can probably hear me better too. It's got noise cancellation technology built in it. This plaque's pretty neat. For 60 years, this prairie side was torn by the hooves of mules and ox and horses, compacted by the weight of the large freight wagons they pulled. It's pretty neat. It says, uh, right where the bridges are is where they're very visible. You can really see the ruts. Santa Fe Trail going west. Trying to block the wind as much as I possibly can, but it's hard. You can really see them down through there. Where that bridge is, it really sinks down. Well, I guess uh, I'll go back into Dodge City and uh, look around. I don't know, I'm going to Wichita next, Kansas. And, uh, Supposed to be some Wizard of Oz type items there. Sculpture, you know, of Dorothy and all that. I want to stop and see that. And on to Kansas City from there. Getting ever so closer home. As you can see, I'm still on the plains. It's a little hilly here, though. So... On the prairie. Oh, that wind. Chief Little Brave in 1871. Trying to get shots of things so you can pause, you know, and then if you want to read. Well, I guess uh, I can't say going westward now. Feels that train. It was sitting in Dodge City. Can't do all that. Well, on to the next. Kind of cool. I was driving by and seeing this airplane. It's right here at the edge of our airport. 
We out here in Kansas. But there's a heli airplane right there on top of it. I can't go up to it. I'm not gonna break any laws because there's a sign that says airport property, no trespassing. So I'm not gonna go out there. I thought it's kind of neat to see though. The things you see. But uh, 
that's all for now. out of that bank out of the storm ain't that crazy that one that cow to the right there is looking right at me they're staying out of the storm I thought that was neat I wanted to stop and get a picture of it
car said uh, 243,715 is what it says right now. So it'll be, I started at 241, so it's about 2,000 miles right now. It's going to be about 2,200 miles in about four days. So, see you in the next one. Welcome to Kentucky.